Hey Spirit Scholars, welcome to another edition of PhD in Me TV, pursuing a higher degree in me. I am your student teacher, Empress Shona is loved. Here on PhD in Me TV, we are pursuing a higher degree in ourselves holistically. That means mind, body, and spirit, and I am here to empower you, encourage you, and enlighten you along in your holistic wellness journey. So if that sounds like something you can use and appreciate in your life, be sure to subscribe right now. Spirit Scholars, today is Monday, September 23rd, 2019. It is Impressionimus Eve. <laughs> That's right, tomorrow is my birthday and I am excited about it. But today is also the first day of autumn, as my son says. I normally say fall, but I was totally like taken aback that he just chose to say autumn this morning. And I liked the way that sounded. So yes, today is the first day of autumn. And I just love when the seasons change. In fact, I'm doing this video from one of my bedroom windows and my favorite fall tree has a section of it where the leaves are starting to turn yellow red and I can't believe it. But believe it or not, autumn is here. As you know, I'm a fall baby. So this is one of my favorite seasons. My two favorite seasons are summer and fall. So I'm happy about the leaves getting ready to change and us going to the apple orchard again this year. If you guys can remember last year, I got snuck by a bee at the apple orchard. <laughs> I'm gonna be like this with those bees this year. But I'm just looking forward to everything that fall will bring, including my first pumpkin spice latte today. I never let retail or social media dictate my change of seasons. So you guys know they've been doing fall for months now, literally at this point in retail and social media land. But nope, I do not change seasons until the calendar, the moon, and the sun say it is time. And it is time. My tree is telling me it is time. And so I am now officially in fall and I'm going to treat myself to a pumpkin spice latte. I would share that with you, but I got to get this video up uh, so that I can move forward with the rest of my day. And I'm excited about it. I'm ready to end 42 strong and start 43 even stronger. So today is Mental Mojo Monday on the channel, Spirit Scholars. And this is where I share a thought with you on Mondays to get you to thinking, okay? And to help you get your mind right and keep your wellness journey tight. So Spirit Scholars, I wanna get right to it by telling you a story that will empower you in regard to your mindset this week. So I pulled up to the house today and my garage door would not go up. I'm like, what is going on with this garage door? Now every now and then it gets a little kink, but we know what to do to make it do what it needs to do. And these things were just not working this morning. So I'm just sitting there trying to, <laughs> you know, I'm just sitting there pressing, pressing, pressing and doing little different things and it's just not working. So my daughter goes inside the house and she comes back out shortly thereafter and she says, mom, there's no electricity in our house. And I said, okay, well that makes sense. This is why the garage door is not opening. And she goes, yes. So then I immediately start trying to figure out, you know, what the issue is. And I looked down at my phone and I see literally in that moment, my electric company sent me a text that said the power was out and that they'll be working on it. And it would probably take about three hours. Immediately, I'm like, uh-oh, because in between business and homeschooling, we are very internet dependent in this house. So I'm thinking, oh my word, how are we going to get done what we need to get done? And at about one o'clock today, I have some serious business that I need to take care of that is going to need the internet. So I share this story because it is a true story. And what it required is for me to be able to shift gears quickly. And the only way I could shift gears 
is if I was allowing my mind to change first and foremost. So I had to change my mind from what I thought my day was going to look like at the top of the morning to the realities that are facing me right now. Okay. So in order for my day not to go awry, because that's not what I want. I had to decide what I want. I still want a good day. It is Empress Shona Miss Eve, okay? That means my birthday is tomorrow. I've got plans for today that is going to make my birthday over the top tomorrow, right? So I'm not even trying to entertain the idea of having a down day today. No, no amount of lack of electricity is going to do that, but it could have if I hadn't changed my mind. And so that's the message I want to leave with you today on Mental Mojo Monday, Spirit Scholars. You've got to, number one, decide what kind of day you want to have, any and every day. And when that flows, that's wonderful. But if and when things come your way that are distractions and detours toward the joy you want to have in your day, you've got to allow yourself the flexibility to change your mindset. Okay, and reorient your perspective so that you can align things to be the way you want and need them to be. And that is productive and joy filled, no doubt about it. So realign your mind. That's the message for today. You've got to allow yourself the flexibility to realign your mind. That's some good stuff right there. <laughs> Give me a thumbs up for that. Give me a thumbs up for that. Come on now, that's some good stuff. And so with that spirit scholars, I want to remind you that you are loved because indeed you are. And I also want to remind you that I'm coming to you with the joy that gives me strength. Abundant love, beloveds. <laughs>